Here's the wind up again. And here's the pick. The Reds Hall of Fame is a very unique facility. Uh, in terms of sports museums, we are the largest in all of baseball. We are a 16,000 square foot standalone museum. Our Hall of Fame itself dates back to 1958. So we were one of the oldest continually operating Halls of Fame in all of sports. We're a cut or two above the rest. A number of things came together uh, that, that really sparked the renovation. One was just our age. Opened in 2004, we hadn't had a major structural renovation or aesthetic renovation on a comprehensive level since we opened in 04. And then 2019 being the 150th anniversary of the first all-professional team, the Cincinnati Red Stockings. So FRSH Nelson is a branded environments firm that is focused on innovation and excellence in innovation and retail. So we have had a partnership with the Reds now for uh, several years where we come in from a creative perspective, the Reds, and try to come in and, and actually deliver really creative, unique experiences for the fans and for the organization. I think what you can expect is to be uh, really immersed in Reds history. We start the story uh, back in 1869 with the first all-professional Reds team, and we bring you up through the present day. What we do it, though, in, in multiple ways. Some real highlight signature spaces in the museum, including our plaque room, which is completely interactive, a 360-degree theater that brings the story of all of our Hall of Famers to life, and of course, our Williams Family Champions Gallery, which is the permanent home of the Reds World Series trophies. So this space in particular, this room, is one of the rooms that is the crescendo at the end of the tour. So the idea is for us to be able to celebrate world championships in this room. It's a party space as well where you can engage with a lot of the memorabilia from those championships and tell those stories. The biggest challenges we faced on the project was the construction schedule and the accelerated timeline that they needed it to be complete by. Sarah Textile and Draper, you know, worked together to prioritize and make sure that we could hit their date. The so Standard Textile, we work with them very closely. They brought this job to Draper and we had a, a very tight timeline as far as installation to get the job done. They knew that Draper could not only provide the product that was needed, but also do the graphic shades on the job that the Cincinnati Reds wanted. Graphic shades are a kind of a unique request. The process to go through isn't as simple as a typical shade or, or blind or something of that nature, but it kind of allows projects to depict visuals that are entertaining the visitors and, and customers. You can just kind of walk in and in one glance to the left and the right, you can get a real sense of the history of the Cincinnati Reds. By doing graphic shades, you can preserve all the historical and all the significance of the Cincinnati Reds and kind of the history throughout by actually reprinting and recreating it on a window shade by doing the graphics. We are extremely pleased with the final product and there were lots of hands that went into making the final product what it is. When we do uh, jobs, we do a lot of jobs daily, and sometimes it's just on a piece of paper. You don't always see the finished product, and by walking in here to actually see our graphics that we, I know that we did in our factory, it's pretty neat to see you know, the fruits of your labor. Knowing that we had a part in the Hall of Fame here makes us really proud and grateful for the opportunity, and you know, we feel like we got to be part of uh, you know, a special place here at the Reds Hall of Fame. The biggest takeaway for me is just hearing people ask, have you been to the new Hall of Fame yet? That's the big linchpin for me, is that people are, aren't talking about what's here, they're making sure that people go and experience it. You've gotta stand in that hall and feel the spirit that's there. Everyone at every step along the chain to get us from where we were to where we are played an important part, and we're, we're grateful for their, their participation. The end result uh, was what we were really looking for. It's uh, very different from its predecessor, but it's very much of the 21st century and it's a platform that we're going to be able to build on for many years to come. Yeah.